Hello everyone. I hope you all are fine. Now today we will discuss about pronouns. It is lesson number 5 from your grammar book. This, these three sentences, I have written Mohit so many times. But we can change this. We can avoid repeating these words, these nouns by using pronouns. We can write these sentences like this. Mohit is a good boy. Instead of Mohit, we will write he wants to become wants to become a doctor. Mohit's teacher, his, instead of Mohit, his teacher likes him. So, we have replaced Mohit. First time we will write Mohit because we are Describing about Mohit, we should know whose name is, who is this. And the second time, we, is, we are not repeating the mo, uh, word Mohit, we are writing the pronouns. He, his, him. So, what, did you, what do you understand by this? The word pronouns. Pronouns are the words that are used instead of nouns. And it helps us to and it avoids writing nouns or repeating nouns many times. It helps us in avoiding writing nouns many times. So, we understood that what are pronouns? Number one, words used in place of nouns are called pronouns. Second, what we understood? We understood that it avoids repeating the nouns. Avoid repeating nouns. So, pronouns help us in writing nouns without repeating it. And words that are used in place of nouns are called pronouns. So, pronouns avoid repeating the nouns. Many times, instead of repeating nouns, we can use pronouns. So, you understood what is pronoun? Now, you will see the types of pronouns. Pronouns can be of two types. In, pronouns are of different kinds, but in standard 3, you will learn pronouns of two kinds. You will learn about personal pronoun and you will learn about Demonstrative pronoun. Demonstrative pronoun. So, you will learn about personal and you will learn about demonstrative pronoun in standard 3. But pronouns are of many kinds. Now, Rita is saying to Sita. Sita is saying, I like I like Miss Mary. Do you? Now, Sita is asking Sita, I like Miss Mary. Here, I is the pronoun. 
noun because she is using instead of her name, instead of noun. So Rita is saying, I like Miss Mary. Do you? She is asking Sita. Do you? Now, Sita is saying, yes. Now, Sita says, yes. She is a loving teacher. So, Sita is talking about Miss Mary and she is using the word she. So, what did you understand? I is the first person. She is the first person. She is talking to Sita. So, Sita is the second person. So, Sita is the second person and they are talking about whom? They are talking about Miss Mary. So, Miss Mary is the third person. So, children, pronouns used for first person, second person and third persons are different. For first person, I... Here the sec for second person used you and here for third person she they use the word she. I like Miss Mary. Do you? Rita is asking Sita. So Rita is the speaker. So she is the first person. Sita, she is talking to Sita. Sita is the second person and they are talking about Miss Mary. So, Miss Mary is the third person. Got it? Now, children, I will explain you about the first person. Who is the first person and what are the pronouns that can be used for the first person? Who is the first person? Person who is speaking. And who is the second person? Who is the second person? Second person is the person who is being spoken to. Person who is being spoken to. Whom you are talking to. That is the second person. First person is you. Second person is the person you are talking to. And the third person, who are the third person? Third person about whom you are speaking. So the person being spoken about. Person being spoken about. About whom you are talking. The person about whom you are speaking. So what are the so what are the pronouns that can be used for first person? Yes, it can be I, we, us.
okay and for the third person you use the word he she it they these are the words that we use for the third person there are many you can write etc you yours he she it they them there many are there so we will learn about all now children i'll be drawing a table you can draw this in your copy in your course in your grammar copy you can draw this table so that you remember the words used the pronouns used for per first person second person and third person like nouns are plural plural and singular so pronouns are also can be sing pronouns also can be singular and plural now we'll look about look around the words that are plural in pronouns and singular first person what are the singular nouns and plural nouns for the first person singular nouns singular pronouns are i me mine and what are the plural pronouns for the second for the second person for the first person it can be we us and ours these are the pronouns that we use in the plural form for first person and these are the pronouns that we use for a single person and first person now for second person second person what are the pronouns that we use we use you for singular in plural form also it will be you and in singular form also it will be you one more word singular is yours and plural also we say yours now about third person what are the pronouns for the third person it is he his he now children in this one we use different for male and female we use different for male and female for third person male we use he his him and for female we use she her and for neuter gender for non humans for non humans that is for thing and animals we use it in the singular form and in the plural form we use they and them we also use this i hope you have understood it is the table which expresses the forms of personal pronouns forms of personal pronouns in the form of table so for first person singular we use i me mine 
For plural we use we, us, ours. For second person we use you. And for singular also and for plural also we use you. For second person singular and plural we use same, yours, yours. For third person if the third person is male we use he, his, him. And if the third person is female we use she, her or hers. And for non-humans that is living a non-living thing and for uh, animals we use it and they, them and theirs for the plural form. I hope this is clear. You can copy down this in your grammar copy. Now here I have some sentences and you have to find the personal pronouns over here. I have already underlined the personal pronouns in each sentences. Number one, I surprised everyone. Here I is the pronoun and it is the first person pronoun. She gave me a piece of candy. Here she is a pronoun and me is also pronoun. She is the third person personal pronoun and me is the first person pronoun. This book is mine. Over here mine is the personal pronoun and it is the first person personal pronoun. Can you lend me your book? You is a pronoun, me is also a pronoun and your is also a pronoun. You and your are second person pronoun and me is the first person pronoun. Mohit is a good student. He sits with me. He is a personal pronoun and me is also a personal pronoun. But he is the third person pronoun and me is the first person pronoun. She is Maria. She is the personal pronoun and her dress is looking pretty. Her is also a personal pronoun. She is the third person personal pronoun and her is also a third person personal pronoun. They finished all the sweets before I asked them. They and them. They both are personal pronoun. They are the third person personal pronoun and they are also plural pronouns. Sweets before I ask them. I is the pronoun, personal pronoun and it is the first person, personal pronoun. I hope you all have understood what are pronouns and how you have to identify the pronouns. Okay. Now we will learn about the second type of pronoun that is demonstrative pronoun. You can say, this is my ball. This that is my kite. These apples are sweet. Those apples are sour. Now children, this you have been learning since, I hope you have been learning this, that, these, those since UKG. Now this is called a demonstrative pronoun because we are Pointing out to things or person, place or animal. We use this for the object or for the nouns that are near to us and they are singular. We use that for the, for the nouns that are far from us and are singular. We use these for the nouns that are near to us and are plural. They are more than one. And we use those for the nouns that are far away from us and are plural. I hope you all have understood about demonstrative pronoun. This, that, these, those. Only these are the demonstrative pronouns. So demonstrative pronouns are this. That, these, and those. I hope it is clear. 